Hey everybody, this is Lighting Madness on Howard Zane's Layout. Uh, this morning I posted a walkthrough of Howard's Layout, a nighttime walkthrough of his beautiful model railroad lit up at night. And on this video we're going to talk to Howard and get some insight on what he did with the lighting, how he went about doing some things, and I'll just give you a quick glimpse again of some of the engine house facilities all on this video. Now, again, you can watch the video I posted this morning, a walkthrough of Howard Zane's Loud at night, and you can see everything. This is a shorter version, and again, we'll talk to Howard about what he did, how he did it, and I'll show you some engine house scenes, so enjoy. Now, the other video I did, folks, shows these in complete darkness. This is a little more of a twilight video. I wanted to kind of dim the lights down a little bit and give you some scenes in twilight uh, because in pitch black uh, gives you a different perspective. So I wanted to give you a perspective of pitch black, which is the walkthrough video at night, and uh, a little bit of a twilight perspective of the light, the sun going down, and it's early evening, and we've got some stuff going on. Again, I just wanted to do some twilight footage. And the sun is going down. It's not dark yet, but it's getting there. And all the lights are getting on. And everybody's getting ready for some total darkness. And again, folks, you can see that walkthrough video. But we'll call this the twilight video. Go talk to Howard. I'll show you one more facility. Well, this is Bernard, folks. It's a little difficult. Uh, obviously, you can't see it all in pitch blackness. It was neat in the dark, but it's twilight right now. And I wanted to give you a little bit of a view of what Bernard looks like in the twilight of evening. Beautiful and impressive. It is just, just amazing to see, again, in twilight. Not in total darkness. Again, if you want to go to see the total darkness video, by all means, you can watch that and get an idea of what it would look like uh, in the middle of the night. I just think this is really cool showing a twilight perspective. And in the walkthrough video of nighttime, we showed Maisie's Falls. Of course, it's impossible to see Maisie's Falls the sun is going down, and this is Maisie's Falls. Of course, at night you can't see the falls, but you're able to see the bridges. So let's go upstairs and let's talk a little bit with Howard and find out what he did. Let him talk about the lighting on this, this beautiful layout. Howard, I'm not going to ask you how you're doing. You're, I know you're doing all right. So. Uh. I got a t-shirt out that says, uh, help stand out. Well, whatever, man. <laughs> Stamp out and eliminate redundancy. Let's not be too redundant. Right. I'm fine. Mm. Look, man, tell tell us about the lights on your layout. Well, there's a whole mess of them. Yeah, there <laughs> oh, sure man. are. That's the key to it. Uh, the lighting is, uh, there's probably about 1,500 bulbs, I'm just guessing. Okay. And I went to incandescent to be core before the LEDs became popular. Now, I've tried LEDs, and I didn't really like them because they were too bright and too white. Mm -hmm. I understand there's a lot of changes made right. for the better. Right. So if I had it to do over again, I would uh, probably go to these LED plugins. But uh, the incandescent is, I think, about 30 bulbs equal about one amp. Mm -hmm. So originally, I tried wall warts to get these things to work, and they burned out in no time. Mm -hmm. Matter of fact, one of them exploded. Mm -hmm. So then uh, Garen Mortensen... Uh, a fellow modeler gave me the idea of a battery charger. Hmm. So I got a huge battery charger and hooked all the lights up to the battery charger so I could adjust it. Hmm. So that powers all the lights. Oh, no, wow. problem. no problem at all. Mm. So that's why you have a string of battery chargers yeah. underneath the layout. On the layout, there are three bus lines. One is for the, for the power, the other is for the uh, turnouts, and the other one is for the lights. So anywhere they would put a light, a building with a light in it, we just drop the wires and suitcase connect into the 12, um, 12 gauge wire. Because the, the wiring under the layout reminds me of the, the Saturn V rocket 
Why you don't right. want to be a, you actually have it under there. <laughs> yeah. And I'm like, and you know what? I've been under there a million times mm -hmm. and I'm like, what the hell are these car yeah. battery chargers doing yeah. under here? Well, anyhow, what I about lighting, what I don't know about model railroad lighting will fill a whole volume. Wow. What's kind of funny, a Forrest Nace did a video about five years ago on my layout. Mm -hmm. It was his first in a series. And it was good, and he got several tele awards, which are awards for um, uh, documentaries. Mm -hmm. And one of that was for lighting. I was considered to be an award-winning lighting engineer. Here's oh, the plaque goodness. here, but it's really Forrest's. Mm. That was for his layout. Wow. Or for his video work. Yes. And then they gave me this... Uh, oh, uh, it's got my name on it. Then I got this statue. Oh, wow. Which I'm going to take the son of a bitch apart. And put it on it's a hood ornament for my Corvette. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but it's fine. It's, it's nice to have, sort of like an Oscar. But mm -hmm. again, this is really Forrest's work. But it's kind of uh, funny because they think I'm a lighting engineer, and I am not a lighting engineer. Mm -hmm. I don't know, Howard. I disagree with that. Well, I'll tell you some of the mistakes, Al. Number one, as you walk down the stairs, you see a lot of the large city buildings, and many of the buildings, actually, that are fully lit. Mm -hmm. And that's not the real world. You'd only have certain lights in certain buildings. So, in other words, I learned how to black out. When I do a structure, I'll only lay part of the building mm -hmm. and black it out with black tape, several a couple layers of black tape or right. whatever. Right. And that's, that's, it looks so much better. Mm. Right. That's the main thing I learned. <laughs> that's all right. And also, uh, keep your lighting in scale. The lighting has scale. If it's too bright, it's out of scale. Right. If it's too white, it's out of scale. And I've said, folks, uh, in the video, it might look a bit too bright or too out of scale, but I can assure you in person, it looks much yeah. softer than the way the camera is yeah. picking it up. Now, folks, this is a first because uh, from time to time, I've lit sections with layout to uh, show to uh, various visitors, but this is the first time I've ever seen the whole damn thing lit up. Hmm. And it's interesting. I think. Yeah. But, uh, I'm glad you didn't break your neck or break your back like I did. <laughs> <laughs> Tripping over something. I tripped over a ladder, and it's it's what put me in this walker. Yeah. Hope to walk again someday, but it's uh, it is what it is. At least I got injured downstairs on the layout. Mm. Well, again, I we're, mm. we broke this into two sections, Howard. The sec the first one I posted yesterday. That's up now. That's the walk through at night. It's great. And this one that I'm going to show you uh, later today that I'll post probably this evening or tomorrow is going to be at twilight. I kind of got some twilight scenes to really? show a little bit of twilight. Yeah, so there's a con I'll show both. So it'll be very interesting to watch. Yep. Howard, thanks so much. Okay, thank you.